Yeah, okay. okay. I was never much into competitive sports. Like, I always get picked last, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but this is about basically my one and only foray into like almost competitive professional sports. Uh, when I was in junior high, uh, I uh, joined a kayaking club in my town that were offering free lessons. And uh, basically, it was a new club. It was uh, located in a harbor in a place that was famous for its for being like a dump ground for toxic waste for like local <laughs> plants. So like not many people signed up. Uh, and right off the bat, something was kind of weird. Like the, the teachers would be yelling at us, would be kind of uh, measuring our, uh, like how fast we ride the kayaks and making us do it over again and again. Like not how you would treat someone who's testing out a new hobby. Uh, and it was only a few weeks in when we kind of realized that this new kayaking club was uh, actually gearing up towards some kind of a national championship <laughs> for kayaking, and we were the team, it turns out. <laughs> we're like, okay, okay, that like, explains a lot of stuff, it's kind of weird, but okay, but, but eventually we, we, like at first we were pretty nervous, but uh, you know, the coaches there uh, came to us and said, hey, don't worry, it's not about whether you, winning, you win or lose, it's about participating. And I think that might be the only time ever a coach said that and actually meant it. Because <laughs> it really felt like they signed into the competition out of some kind of like bureaucratic obligation. And they, were, they really didn't care how well we did. We just, they just took a bunch of guys off the street and like made us compete, basically. Um, but eventually, you know, we got the hang of it and uh, we kind of started getting excited about it, maybe even thinking, you know, maybe the toxic waste is gonna give us even some kind of like, an, like a competitive edge. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but then, uh, you know, the big event came and, and it was my time to shine. Like I felt like this was the only time ever again, like I would ever uh, be participating in some kind of like a competitive event and having all those eyes on me of people that came uh, from all around the country um, and we got there, and it turns out that uh, uh, the event that I was practicing for was like, which was a two-man relay slalom race, uh, was not a two-man relay slalom race, but like a one-man race, uh, and only one of us could do it, like me and out of me and my partner. And uh, my partner was, you know, the more athletic one, so the the coach immediately picked it, was like, okay, yeah. I guess you're gonna do it. And you know, I was I was devastated at the time because you know I felt like such a loser. And uh, and my coach kind of I guess he saw that and he looked at me and he said, Hey man, it's not about whether you win or lose as long as you participate. And I'm like, but I I'm not participating. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a sentence for that. <laughs> um, so, you know, the competition goes on, and our team, you know, as you would expect, we do really badly. Like, they, <laughs> like, we lose everything. I don't think we came in dead last, which is, you know, should be very embarrassing for, like, whoever came <laughs> last after us. Because, like, we were really not prepared for that. Uh, but we did pretty bad. And I remember I was uh, on the right back, you know, I was sitting in the car next to my partner. Uh, he was so bummed, you know, for doing uh, so badly in the sport. And, you know, he, he says to me, man, I can't believe we lost like that. And I said, hey man, come on. You lost, I didn't participate. <laughs> <laughs> and just seeing everyone being so gloomy and defeated and knowing that I had nothing to do with it <laughs> was such a great feeling. <laughs> and so I never participated again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Give it up for Ron.